Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you about a couple new piercings that I got um, for my birthday and talk through the experience. Honestly, mostly because I have kind of like a fucked up obsession with watching these videos. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's one of those things on YouTube where if I like see a piercing video in the sidebar, I always watch it and then I get on a string of like 50 videos. I got um, my conch pierced and I also got another helix piercing. It's this little silver one right above the gold. So I'm gonna st talk about my conch first. So as you can see, I have kind of the standard um, smallest um, ball size uh, jewelry in my ear and um, that is actually not what I wanted when I went to go get my conch pierced. Um, my goal for this piercing is to have like a very delicate, dainty um, gold uh, hoop in it. As soon as I got to the shop, um, the girl had basically the exact same kind of jewelry that I wanted and I was like, oh perfect, like I want basically exactly what you have and right away she was like, oh my god, don't get it pierced with a hoop. Um, at my piercing studio that I go to, they do offer piercing your conch with a hoop, but she was like, it takes so much longer to heal, you know, you bump it more often, it's just a much bigger hassle. And so once she was telling me that, I kind of decided I would rather just like have it heal well and be able to wear any kind of jewelry that I want and not have any issues um, rather than deal with a hoop. Um, on top of that, um, typically at most piercing studios, um, if you haven't really gotten piercings before, when you get one, they will pierce you with a larger piece of jewelry than um, you need. So if I were to have gotten a hoop, it would have been a bigger um, circumference than what I would have wanted. It wouldn't have fit taut to my ear and they do that so in case your ear swells a little bit, you know, the piercing isn't too small. But in about three months, I should be able to change the jewelry. So it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, so to get into uh, my experience and everything. So the piercing itself, I believe cost $30 and the jewelry cost 15. So it cost about $45, which I think is pretty typical for this piercing. Some studios are going to charge a little bit more. I actually went to um, a guy named Andy who has done all of my piercings for me. Um, I also have my septum pierced, which I just have a um, retainer in right now and um, he did that, he did my nose, and um, he's just great. Like he makes getting pierced the easiest thing ever. He's so relaxed and more than that, he's just like super knowledgeable. Like if I ever have questions, he always has like great answers. He always talks through the healing process. So I wasn't really nervous and he pierced my ear with a 14 gauge needle and um, that's a little bit thicker than my nose ring for reference. Um, I was laying down on my back and he had me um, just kind of tilt my head to the side so that he could, you know, easily get to my ear. And um, the way he does piercings is he doesn't count like three, two, one, or one, two, three, or whatever. He just says take a deep breath, breath in, and on the breath out, that's when he pierces. But yeah, so he, he did the breathe in, breathe out. He you know, took the needle and um, he, I believe, used a cork behind my ear. Um, so that way when the needle goes through, it can't, you know, stab you. He marked the piercing beforehand. We agreed on placement and he put the needle through my ear. Now, okay, I don't want to freak you out at all. If you want this piercing, it's definitely worth getting it. Um, but for me personally, this is actually my most painful piercing and I've again had like the two nose piercings, several other ear piercings, and this fucking hurt. Like, really bad. But again, even though it hurt really bad, it like, it was just like a really, really sharp pinch. I mean, that's all I can describe it and it only lasted like a couple of seconds and then it was over. Like the jewelry going in didn't hurt at all. Um, the way he does it is he uses a needle where at the end it's hollow. So you just kind of thread the jewelry in right through the needle. So there's no kind of fumbling around with jewelry or anything like that. The way he pierces as well, he doesn't let you like sit up when you when like immediately after. He makes sure to kind of, you know, dab off the blood if there is any so that way when you look at your piercing you know it looks pretty and it's all finished and everything like that 
So yeah, it really, really hurt. But again, it's a piercing. Like it takes two seconds. As long as you don't like hype yourself up too much beforehand, you're gonna be fine. It's totally worth it if you like the look of the piercing. And um, yeah, that was just my experience. It really hurt. Now to talk to you about healing. So I have had my piercing for I think four days now, three or four days. And surprisingly, it did actually bruise a little bit, um, which I've never had with a piercing before. So there is um, just a little bit of discoloration around the earring where I've kind of gotten a bruise. Also a little bit different for me is the day afterward, it was bleeding a little bit. And again, that's a very normal thing for piercings. I just like hadn't experienced that before for whatever reason. So um, I have been cleaning my piercing with a um, sea salt and water solution that comes in a can. And what's so nice about it is you can just spray it on your piercing. It's not like you have to, you know, make the sea salt and water yourself and like I did with my nose where you have to like sit there with a shot glass and just like shove your nose in it. Um, luckily, what they at my shop um, recommend for ears to just use the spray form because it makes it so much easier. The specific spray that I'm using I do really really like because it has a pretty strong stream. I don't know how else to say it but like when you press on the nozzle it comes out with like some force. So if there's any kind of like buildup of blood or crusties or whatever it really helps to kind of flush it out. My, my number one tips would just be to don't touch it at all with your fingers. Don't touch the back, don't touch the front, don't even touch your ear. Just use the sea salt spray, spray it on there, and if you have to get anything off, I would recommend using Q-tips, but try to buy um, at like where I shop, if you buy cheaper Q-tips, they're like less fluffy. And if you can get ones that have, you know, are kind of hard and not fluffy, that's gonna lessen the chance of any of those um, Q-tip fibers coming off in your ear and irritating the piercing. So, but I would just say as much as possible, avoid touching it if you have to like um, push the earring uh, back because it is kind of a long bar that's in my ear again to allow for swelling if you have to kind of push the earring back in I've just been using the q-tip instead of my finger besides that nothing else um, Oh, yeah sleeping has been kind of annoying. I've been using one of those like uh, half circle neck pillows so that when you're laying down it kind of has a hole. So this piercing, you know, I've had a couple other times I have the one right below it and the one right up here on my ear same exact process as my conch piercing except easier it like didn't really hurt at all um, again just a really quick pinch nothing like the conch piercing in terms of pain uh, helix piercings are pretty common a lot of people have them again just using the sea salt spray twice a day not touching it with my hands and just kind of avoiding the area yeah, it was really easy and I feel like with these two piercings, I'm done with ear piercings. I mean, I guess you can never say it, never, but uh, the reason why I got these two piercings is to kind of finish off my ear collection and I feel like I'm complete now. I feel like once they're healed, I'll be able to do some like really fun combinations. So I'm really happy with them. If you want to get your conch pierced, don't be scared. You know, I've heard a lot of people on YouTube say it didn't even hurt them. So it just depends on your body. Body, but just don't freak yourself out beforehand just go in confident and you'll be fine all right guys I will <laughs> aren't these glasses cute I just had them sitting next to me and I wanted to show you they're from Depop I got them a long time ago anyway um yeah I'm probably gonna be in the same outfit because I'm filming a wig video which should be out soon and then after that I will have another makeup video so if you're only here for that don't unsubscribe I will have more makeup videos don't worry um and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you haven't i will talk to you later bye <laughs>